very confused people to introduce to you. Hashfield, Gwenny and Dora, you're going here, who is who? When Hashfield views and Dora, Gwenny shop she mouth in two. I must be something in the village, beer dumplings in the stew. Dora, I was thinking, you know. What? <laughs> what matter with you? I was feeling you was what? Care for you don't spray your prayer. Woman, <laughs> if you don't put a cover up on your mouth, something else going to get sprayed. And I can swear it ain't going to be my brain. Hey, you know you're right. You can't spray your brain because you can't spray what you ain't got. <laughs> Look at when you rice. What do you mean by that? Look at don't get Heavenly me Heavenly Father, you. Heavenly Father, give me grace. Hushville, you tell me something or not. How it is every time you start to tell me anything, somehow or the other you bound to get in a nice way, Gwenny. Well, look at my crosses now. Woman, why the hell you don't act you all busy like I'm sister to stop shoving she about in my business? I must have got Gwenny Rice White Bowl. I can't let a word drop in here before she... Before what? She... Before what? Hush feed, bro. How much times I has to tell you I don't pay taxes for my mouth? Hey, well, anything that you could tell me, Gwenny Rice, when I has to talk or not? Look at Mr. Man, don't mess with me, ya. Yeah. All right, Gwenny, all right. You're bound to get on, so. You and Hush feel worse than two cock lizards, you know. When I want the Lord, I ain't scallarking. I want a Lord. All I want is for this nigga man you got in here to understand that I is a free agent. I can sell what I like, when I like, but who I like. He like he can't get it on stand that nobody from God earth door rice, Gwenny rice. Nobody don't rice, Gwenny rice, no. Hmm. <laughs> I know one of these days somebody going to open up your features with a rock stone door. You wait. I wait in soul. I wait for that body that drunk enough to even think about touching me. Be jinx when I done with her. The one got one place to end up but in a intensive care. But don't let her worry you soul. And he was telling Dora just now that it was <coughs> him thinking. <laughs> yes, Hushfee. What well, idea you're coming at me with now? Cause you know how I'm is with you sometimes. You oh, Dora, you ain't bound to get on so. How you mean you know how I'm is with me sometimes? Don't stifle your conscience, Dora. You know when it come to ideas, I is one man that don't skylark. You is one man that don't skylark when the ideas don't work neither. Don't skylark to disappear. Dora, remember how this deceitful this and that tell you two ex fucks don't deceive me when the police turn up here about them bush tea labels? All in different good for nothing. <laughs> ah, Gwenny, you get a shock that time, no? I think I see your face now when I tell you the man come out the bush tea. You thought you had the thousand dollars, no? <laughs> but you shouldn't have do that, though, Hush. Could they? All three of we was in the bush tea thing together. And as you smell trouble, you left me and Gwenny to fend for we said. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing I know one or two people about the place to get me and Dora out of there. Don't you realize if the police didn't know the Royces was decent, respectable people, this deceitful old breadfruit swabber could have had me in duck's guts with our bushy business? <laughs> I think I see Gwenny joking word first when she tell the police, Yes, sir, I were the brains behind the bush tea. <laughs> Look at Hushfield, don't go and get my face. But wait, but wait. <laughs> Hushfield, how you hear that? And you ain't left the fella quick so and say so you going down the road a minute. <laughs> going down his road. I didn't know the front house hiding behind the door. I have a word. I hear you too, Dora. Yes, sir. My sister are responsible for the whole idea. <laughs> oh, Lord, Dora, you should hear yourself by making a sport. I didn't want to die to it laugh. That is something to laugh at. <laughs> you should be shamed. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Anyhow, Dora, don't get vexed. Let me treat that as a little joke. See, just a little joke. After all, nothing that happened to you nor your sister. And besides, anybody with heart agree that bottling bush tea is such a bad idea. Gwenny, I gotta hand it to you. I girl. want you to hand me nothing, soul. I wait in here to hear what you did. Is you handing to Dora now? That had you say you was thinking. Yes, hush. I'm still listening. Dora, what you think about me and you opening a bar? What? <laughs> Say that again, hush, man. <laughs> Don't mind this grinning jackass, Dora. Look, she, look, she. I ask you what you think about me and you opening a bar. <laughs> you mean a bar so hush, feed or a bar chocolate, bitch? <laughs> Hushfield and Dora opening the bar. Hushfield, since when you get so great soul, you are open a bar rum shop, witch. <laughs> oh, you, you, oh, I no not understand you. Oh, Hushfield, why me and you should open a rum shop? No money in that. 
people want to call any rum shop soul? Brooms bar? <laughs> Lord deliver me! Skin your fine for Steve Granny Rice. Oh, you want to all this big ignorant one? All right, Hushfield. All right, Hushfield. Not that again. <laughs> you tell him about this out there or not? I tell you, Dora. I guess I touch us. I can't understand we do you at all at all nowadays. I was like, you eat nettles. Don't let your old frustrated sister make you as miserable as she, yeah? It don't suit you, yeah? Who the hell you call it? All right, Benny, all right, all right. Don't worry, baby. Let me hear about the bar now, Hushfield. Yes, Hushfield. Let me hear about this bar, boys. I'm as an iron bar, though, cause if so, you could send him up for your jailbird friend, Morbert, to make you feel more, ahem, <coughs> secure. <laughs> poor you, poor you, Granny Rice. Um, it's a good thing you don't tell jokes for a living, you know. <laughs> Telling you, Dora, me and Arma was discussing this thing, and I think the shed roof is the best place for the bar. Arma know a fella could supply you with the drinks cheap, and tall boy uncle got a second-hand jukebox. He's going, Larry, it, it, it arrange already. <laughs> All boy ain't funny out there too. Uh-huh. Are you using the shed roof to set up this bar? Mm. But wait, when I miss the bar opening door? Next Friday. <laughs> Next what? In oh. other words, oh. when you come telling me to let me and you open a bar, that was only talk. Next Friday opening, and Armand and Tall Boy help me with the things. Well, how I get in there? Dora, Dora, wait. You mustn't be so hasty, man. I still want you to come in this thing with me and the boys. I mean to say, I has discussed one or two things about it with the fellas, but that ain't mean nothing. I mean, you know. It only me here and the fellas want an unpaid bartender to complete the arrangements. Dory, you would really want Bull Pistol and the small here back if you team up with Hushfield and the two breadfruit swappers he got for friends. Then what do you want you to serve the people you can't see? Granny Rice, how do you so and so you get in my business? Somebody ask you something? Nobody ain't ask you nothing, but you're right. As far as I could see, this rum shop ain't got one frups to do with me. No, everything arranged. You come to sweet talk me with foolishness? Uh uh. This is one time, it won't be that. Tilly, Dora, Tilly, Tilly! You think the rice is in Hannah Pride? Lady and the two finger smithy got for friends served the drinks. But, Dora, you mean you ain't even going to help me out at the opening? Opening? Which opening, boy? Opening a broom's barn. I use one or two of my contacts to, to get the minister to come here next Friday and declare the bar open. You think I doing this thing local, Dora? You know you could depend on your hussy to do this thing with style. Uh, Hushfee, you said the minister coming to declare the bar open? If you don't mind telling me, what's the text of the sermon so? <laughs> Granny Rice, sometimes you just make sure your body patience, you know. You know very well I don't mean that kind of minister. Wait, Hushfee, you mean a mi- minister from, uh, from the government? How you mean in Dora? One or two officials gonna be there too. Brooms, bar and disco opening up with a bang, I tell ya. <laughs> it opening with a bang? I hope I'm don't go up and smart the same time. <laughs> Dora, look, I know about you yet. Yeah. But broom, bar and disco deck or whatever miss can open next Friday without Gwen Eureka Rice. Be jinx, this is one thing I ain't gonna miss for all the rum and barbados. <laughs> Come quick enough, no granny. You could say that again. It looked like only a couple evenings since Hushfield was telling me how you opened in this bar. No joke, no door. But you think Hushfield all right, Punta? Who you meaning? It is true he does come up with some big fashion ideas every now and again. But he all right? Hushfield ain't no the fool here, granny. He ain't no the fool. He's a damn jackass. Dora, study your head good. You think anybody in the right mind does invite a government minister to declare a little two before rum shop open? Look, you husband does watch so much television, yeah. But Granny, I ain't understand what you getting at. The reason Hush making a big splash for the opening of Bruce Barn Disco is to let the public know you in business. Nothing ain't wrong with that. Use another one. You know deep down you heart too that Hush feet getting besides yourself. Anyhow, when all the big guesses arrive, I got to be up front. And I gonna fire a grog with the big guesses too, yeah. I do it Dixie and Broom's barn disco this evening. <laughs> that is a joke, fam. <laughs> you look too nice in that fat suit, though. Nobody will know your age. Well, Dory is the only body I know that destroyed to look like old Granny Goring. You take pantsuits only for young yams? 
But wait. The guesses should be arriving any time now. I hope Hush feel any friends got everything prepared. That they'd lock up in the shed roof the whole evening instead of walking. Hey, look at the time, Gwenny. Go and tell Hush feel the guesses soon come. I'm gonna throw open the door for when they arrive. Yes, soul. You can't let the big sh- uh, I mean the big shops come and find the door closed. <laughs> Now let me show them three bed food swappers got rooms bar looking. Hey, but who would have think how she could have get the minister to come and open this barn, eh? <laughs> that man is really something for himself, though. But you got to hand it to him. He does try, poor fellow. He does got some good ideas. Don't mind, Gwenny, don't... Hey, I thought you was checking out the bar, Gwenny. Was it the right word, Dora? I done check in and I come back to tell you. Hey, look at three cars drawing up at the gate. The guests start to arrive. You think I should meet that at the gate or wait till they get the door? Tell you the truth. I think you should go and lock yourself in the toilet every day you got out. <laughs> <laughs> Granny, sometimes you does really. <laughs> hey, the minister coming through the gate now. <laughs> Granny, hush for you, ready? <laughs> Lord, your time come. Yeah, Dora, where you ask? F, hush for you, ready? <laughs> He arm and tall boy, all of them ready <laughs> for the beds. <laughs> them three waffles rap scallions, they lock up in the shed roof the whole evening cause it was working. All the drink bottles empty, and Hushfield, arm and tall boy, spam up rope on the floor dead to the world. <laughs> Lord have mercy, when ever he detonated with them two, and I don't know what's happening at all, at all, at all, at all. And the minister and everybody was there standing, no one can do. In one for the road, Marvel Manning was Gwenny Rose. Alfred Pragner was Hushfield and Andrew Gollop played Dora Two Noise. Operators was Clarkie and Holder, the writer Jeanette Lee and Clark. Linda Waldron, producer, now none of you in any dark.